Welcome to Factly, the place of interesting and unusual facts. Top 10 Unusual Facts About Llamas Llamas are renowned for being eccentric, long-necked creatures who frequently spit and hum. They are frequently mistaken for alpacas, who are closely related to them, as both are camelids, along with camels, guanacos, and vacunas. Llamas, which originated in the South American mountains and are scientifically known as the Llama Glama, were brought to the United States for the first time in the late 1800s to be shown as oddities in zoos. According to the International Llama Registry, there are currently more than 170,000 llamas living in the United States and Canada. We'll discover more about these odd beings and what makes them such effective therapy animals in today's video. Let's start with number one. They could help prevent the flu one day. Llamas are playing a significant role in the research that is being done to develop a universal flu vaccine that would be effective against each and every type of the virus. A nasal spray built from several different llama antibodies has been produced by scientists. This spray is effective because it targets multiple flu strains at the same time. It has the potential to eliminate the need for people to get a flu vaccination every year if this is ever authorized. Number 2 taking care of a llama is a piece of cake. Llamas are easily pleased, and it doesn't take much to make them happy. When compared to other farm animals, llamas and alpacas have lower requirements for the amount of area that they occupy and the food they consume. Depending on the condition of the pasture, just one acre of land is sufficient to support four llamas, or as many as 10 alpacas. On the other hand, each cow requires approximately two acres of land. Llamas and alpacas, in contrast to other animals that can tear up the pastures when they graze, they tend to trim the grass rather than tearing it up by the roots. In addition to this, they tread softly on the earth and they do not create gouges or furrows with their footsteps. Thinking of getting one yet? That will bring me to number three. They differ from alpacas. There are a number of numerous nuances that sets them apart from alpacas, despite the fact that they look almost identical to them. The average llama is approximately 3 feet tall at the shoulder and weighs 120 to 145 pounds, whereas the average alpaca stands about 3 feet tall at the shorter and weighs about 120 to 350 pounds. Llamas, on the other hand, tend to be taller and they weigh more. Llamas have long ears that are shaped like bananas, where alpacas have small ears that are shaped like pears. The faces of llamas are rather long, and alpacas tend to have relatively small and blunt faces. They have that appearance of being squashed in. Another great thing about llamas is they have a personality trait that is more autonomous to that of alpacas. They are social animals and they love to stay with their herds. And that brings me to number four. Did you know that llamas have been used as pack animals for centuries? Throughout history, indigenous people of the Andes Mountains have saddled the often willing animals in order to transport products throughout the difficult terrain of the region. Llamas are capable of covering distance for up to 20 kilometers per day while carrying weights weighing up to 75 pounds. Sometimes hundreds of them come together to form pack trains, which are used to deliver products in bulk and they seem to be an effective manner. When their tolerance is stretched to the limit, they will occasionally lie down and refuse to move. Are you familiar with the expression stubborn as a mule? Well, sometimes it's stubborn as a llama. The angered animals also might hiss, spit, or kick until their burden is eased. Number five, they communicate by humming. Llamas are extremely vocal. According to the Michigan Llama Association, Moms will frequently hum in order to communicate with their young, who are referred to as crias. Crias will eventually learn to recognize their mothers throughout this method of communication. They make this noise not only when they are worried, but also when they are exhausted, uncomfortable, excited, or just plain interested. When llamas are ready to mate, in addition to that characteristic humming, they make this particular gargling noise that is referred to as the orgle. Sometimes you'll even hear clicking sounds coming from the female llama. Number six, you will know when a llama isn't happy with you. When angry, llamas may act aggressively. They'll often spit in order to establish a pecking order within their herd or to ward off an unwanted suitor. 
Their spit is sometimes green, the result of half-digested food, and it can be flung 10 feet or more. But don't worry, they rarely spit on humans. Llamas tend to kick, bite, or even charge if they feel threatened. Llamas are hardy and are well-suited to harsh environments. They are also quite sure-footed, easily navigating rocky terrain at high altitudes. Llamas are also very smart and easy to train. Let's jump right to number 7. As I mentioned before, llamas are used as therapy animals. Llamas, much like Labrador Retrievers or miniature horses, exude a calming and comforting energy. They have the potential to be professionally trained as comforters and serve as a therapy animal in institutions such as hospitals, schools, and nursing homes. Rojo, who worked at Mountain Peaks Therapy Llama and Alpaca in the mountains outside of Portland, Oregon, was one of the more famous therapy llamas. Before his untimely death at the age of 17, he was the protagonist of two books for young readers and made several appearances in the media. Number 8. They make excellent guard animals. Since the 1980s, llamas have been utilized in North America as a livestock guard animal for a variety of species, including sheep and even alpacas. They can become effective guards with very little to no training at all. Farmers frequently employ them to protect herds of sheep, goats, or even alpacas from larger predators like coyotes because it is well known that they will openly chase off smaller animals like the latter. These guardians are always on the lookout and they maintain a cordial relationship with the flocks they watch over. According to the Michigan Llama Association, these animals would even adopt smaller livestock as their own personal herd on occasion. Number 9. Did you know a llama's stomach has three compartments? The rumen, the omasum, and the abomasum are the respective names of each chamber in the stomach. The stomach of the cow is divided into four sections. Llamas, just like cows, are obligated to regurgitate and rechew their meal in order to properly digest it. Speaking of their food, llama excrement has almost no odor. Llama farmers typically refer to llama dung as llama beans. It works wonderfully as an environmentally responsible fertilizer. And in ancient times, the Inca people of Peru used dried llama dung as a source of fuel. Number 10. Llamas are social creatures. Llamas are gregarious creatures that like to live in herds or with other llamas. They have a fluid social structure, and the male llama can advance the group by picking fights with the group leader and winning them. Llamas have a 20-year lifespan on average. Nevertheless, some of them only survive for around 15 years, while others live to be 30. Black, gray, beige, brown, red, and white are just a few of the solid and spotted colors that llamas can be found in. And you'll see how soft they are if you ever get a chance to pet one. The llama fiber used to make yarn is delicate, light, and surprisingly warm. And its coarse outside coat is typically used for carpets and ropes, while that soft undercoat is utilized for clothing and handicrafts. Well, that brings us to the end of our unusual facts about llamas. I hope you've learned a lot, and I will see you in the next video.